Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Megan, if you're new here. Um, I just drove back to Minnesota today. I'm from Wisconsin. Um, so I drove back to Minneapolis for spring semester. I go to University of Minnesota Twin Cities. It's spring semester, senior year. Very excited. Um, I've got Mr. Bear with me. My room is kind of a pigsty right now i've just got stuff and then i've got um like two suitcases out there because i need to unpack from winter break um but i'm not gonna get too comfortable because i'm switching rooms um soon i don't know exactly when with one of my roommates smiley um because this as you can see this room has no windows it is the smallest one so we're all taking turns living in here and my time is up for the semester so um i'm really excited to move rooms because this room gets super hot um and it's just so small and i'm ready to see the sun again when i'm in my room you know so yeah but anyways i'm unpacking i wanted to start this vlog i didn't really vlog as much last semester because it was so busy and i just had like a lot of stuff going on but i'm really excited to pick up the weekly vlogs again um, I vlogged literally like every week last year, junior year. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get back in the groove of things. But anyways, I'm really hot. I am going to wash my hands and then I need to unpack. And then I can just relax and I need to go grocery shopping later tonight because I have no food here. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Oh my gosh, you guys. Back from grocery shopping that in total took like two hours. I went to three different places. Target, Trader Joe's, and then Whole Foods. I got out of the, okay, so the Trader Joe's downtown is literally a block away from US Bank, which is where the Vikings play. And of course, right as I'm like checking out the game ends, so like thousands of people were walking like to their cars and apartments and stuff. And I was just sitting there for 15 minutes. So it was crazy, but I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul of everything that I got. So starting at Target, I got Cheeto Pops, granola for my yogurt. I needed new Ziploc bags, so got that. And then tortillas. And then also, I got these little ice cream sandwiches. I'm gonna freeze them right away because they've been sitting for like an hour. I got straws, chocolate chips, and then the yogurt. Oh, the yogurt. Love this yogurt. It's the best one. So that was Target. Then I went to Trader Joe's and I got eggs. Hopefully these did not crack. Okay, we're good. Got eggs. These little pizzas. Because, like, the big ones are just too much. Um, like, I force myself to eat them and then I feel sick. But, like, it's not good reheated. So, I like those mini ones and then I just have, like, a side. Lettuce. Black beans and corn. Broccoli. Um, plain Greek yogurt. I'm gonna try to use this um, as like sour cream. Turkey burgers, watermelon, cheese, and then I got a sweet potato, an onion, and a tomato. So that was Trader Joe's. And then Whole Foods, I got some bread, Dave's Killer bread. Turkey bacon, green grapes. I'm so excited for these. They're like rock hard. And I, 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 everyone knows that crunchy grapes are the best. And then I got some Olipops. I have three root beer and one orange squeeze. The root beer, 10 out of 10, so good. Tried it for the first time when I was home for break. Amazing. I'm excited to try this one. Hot take, I tried the vintage cola, not good. Okay, so that was my grocery haul. I need to put away my frozen stuff and then I'm so excited. I got canes for dinner. It's staring me in the face. 
I gotta go. All right, hi guys. It has been a productive day so far. Um, let's see what time is it. It's 1.44 p.m. This morning, I kind of, I think I woke up around like 8, 8.15. I went to the gym, worked out um, at the Planet Fitness in Roseville. It's like 12 minutes away from campus, so the drive isn't too bad. And I'm like in Roseville all the time. I went there last night because that's where I go to the Super Target. Um, so, worked out at that Planet Fitness. It was like the biggest one I've ever been in. It was so nice. There was so much space. Like all of the machines were like spread apart, which was really nice. It did not feel like cluttered at all. It was a really great experience. <laughs> um, so I worked out and then I picked up some more food for Bear from PetSmart. Came back, uh, showered. I decided to curl my hair because I really liked how it looked after I got it done. Um, after it was cut two weeks ago and um, I don't know, I've just I've decided that I want to just like style my hair more. So I decided to curl it. Turned out pretty well. Um, let's see. Just took Bear out to go potty. I've been doing laundry. Um, I have clothes on my bed. I have decided to Poshmark some clothes that I have here um, at school with me for a little extra money. I can still like sell things from Minnesota so that's what I'm going to do I am um, I went through like the clothes in my drawers under my bed and then also in my closet and so I have one more bin of like sweaters that I want to go through to see if I want to sell anything um, so I'm gonna do that and then I thrifted some sweaters when I was home that need to be washed so our washing machine doesn't have like a delicate or gentle gentle cycle so I'm just gonna um fill our bathtub up with water put a little detergent in there and then just let it soak for like 15 minutes because that's what um this article told me to do online so that is the plan right now I'm still the only one at the apartment. It wasn't as creepy as I thought it would be. I thought it would be really creepy um, being here alone, but it definitely like helped that I had Bear with me. I don't know why I like couldn't fall asleep last night. I think I was laying in bed for like 45 minutes. It's just always hard when you're like in a new place um, to like fall asleep. So that was me last night. Um, yeah, kind of a little update for you guys. I am going to go through my bin. I'm going to take, this is my plan. I'm going to go through the bin to see if, I, if there's anything I want to Poshmark. And then I'm going to wash my things in the tub. And then I'm going to take pictures. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section. My Alexa's Alexa talking Alexa. to me because she can't connect to the internet. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. Okay, so I was thinking, and I don't think I ever actually showed you guys the sweaters that I got um, from Goodwill. This, I think, I kind of vlogged a little bit of the day in my last vlog. It was like my random days in my life vlog where it was the same day my mom and I went to the public market and I showed like a little, like two second clip of what I ate. But before that, we went to Goodwill. And for some reason, the Goodwill was like really popping off and I got four sweaters. So, okay, it's gonna fall. We'll just put it on the ground. So, I got this really cute Chaps quarter zip um, cream knit with a little embroidery on the, um, on the pocket and then it's got a little leather zipper. So I just thought this was like such a vibe with jeans and Boston's, which I don't have yet, but really, really want. And then I got this green knit um, full zip up. I have like a brown knit one that I thrifted from the Goodwill outlet last year and I love it. So that I would get green. It kind of has like structured shoulders slash shoulder pads. And then the inside is like all fuzzy black Sherpa. So that's really nice. And then I got this sweater. It is Hunt Club. Just a really cute like plaid, um, jewel tone, like navy purpley color. It's so cute. 
my mom said that this was very me when I showed it to her. And then I got this really cute blue um, knit. Can you guys see how amazing it is? Like cable knit. It's so thick. It's so cute. It's also chaps. This was half off. All of these were $6.99. This was half off because like of the orange tag. So amazing. But yeah, anyways, I am going to fill the tub, do my little cleaning thing. Let's do it. This is the aftermath. Oh my gosh, my hands are literally like numb. I can feel like the blood rushing into them. Um, so I was kind of freaking out a little. Once, when I initially put them in the first time, I was like, I wonder if like any of them are gonna bleed, like the colors, because like obviously I had a white sweater in there and then there's like really dark colors in there. But then I was like, I mean, it's thrifted, it's old, like that's been washed. Like, it's all been washed a bunch of times. And then when I came back in, I saw that the, like, purpley one was, in fact, um, bleeding the colors. The water was, like, pink. So I was freaking out, um, trying to, like, get all, like, the blue and the white sweater out from the tub. And I was trying to put them on the ledge, and then they all just, like, started dripping everywhere. So it was literally, like, a pool of water. On either side I was like trying to dry them wring them out a little bit um, without really wringing them out because you're not supposed to actually like wring them so I have the three of them chilling here because they're supposed to dry flat and even though I feel like they're, I'm, they're supposed to be like open like I just honestly don't have the space for that so I'm just gonna like kind of shuffle them around maybe like every hour or something so that's where those are drying and then sorry Eva, sneaking through your room <laughs> this one can go in the dryer to, to tumble dry on low so i'm gonna do that because i don't want to deal with that but yeah this is just like geez it's, it's like a war zone in here like the one thing that i've learned is that i'm never washing sweaters again Nope. <laughs> I just finished taking pictures of all of these items. Um, I'm gonna probably post them on Poshmark today. Um, but yeah, that was really good. Hopefully I make some money because you can always use money when you're in college. Right, Bear? Right? But yeah, nice. As you can see, I had a bit of an unboxing moment, but I wanted to show you guys the two things that I bought recently. So first up are the beautiful um, Adidas Sambas. You guys, I've been wanting these literally for so long, like before they blew up, like over the summer, like late summer, I've been wanting these. When they were still $85 online, still sad about that. Anyways, they were in stock for the longest time. Um, I didn't want to spend the money and then of course as soon as I was like F it I'll get it They were sold out and just out of stock for months So then I had signed up to be notified for when they were back in stock um, And that happened like literally 10 30 p.m. on a Thursday when I was home for break and um I had, like, had them in my cart, blah, blah, blah. I, like, forgot, like, my shipping address because I was sh shipping it to school. 
Um, I was having issues with my card. Um, I dropped my phone. Like, it was this huge thing. And so while they were in my cart, my size men six and a half sold out. So I had to get the sevens, um, but Adidas online anyway says that a men's seven is a woman's eight. These are literally like maybe like I put my finger in like a finger too big, but like I'm gonna tie them tight. I can wear thicker socks and like when I walk like my if and I tie them tight like my heel doesn't come up. Um, so I think I'm just gonna keep these, even though it really bugs me that they're big. Like, I don't know when they're gonna restock. Um, and anyways, like, they're a little narrow. So I'm just gonna tell myself that like, the six and a half would have killed my feet that way. Um, so like, I would have had to size up anyways. Like, I keep wavering, like they're so cute, but then in certain times when I see them, I think they're like the ugliest things I've ever seen. <laughs> but they're really cute. The The vision is like mid-rise baggy jeans that like just drape over the shoe. They're so cute. I love that the sole is a lighter color than the rest of the shoe. Usually I hate black sneakers, but these are so cute. And then my other purchase, I just had to get <laughs> um, gloves for snowboarding. I'm taking snowboarding this semester. I don't know if I said that already. Um, but yeah, I wanted black ones. Allison has a nice pair from the North Face. I don't think they're this exact pair and they only had medium left in stock in the black and men's. So they're a little ginormous. But I can tighten them right here and then they came with like this thing so I can keep them on my wrists and like if I don't want them on my hands, you know. So yeah, they're a little bit big, but you know what? If I don't really want them after snowboarding, I can just sell them. So, you know, but yeah, that's the vault. That's the haul. I'm really excited for these. They're super cute. It's like weird because the bottom of the sole when I go toe to toe with my dunks it's it's the same length but it's like the dunk the toe like the toe box it's like a little bit lower than the tip of the sole whereas this is basically like the same thing if you guys know what i'm saying so like the shoe the sole of the shoe is the same it's a woman's eight but there's just a little extra room so it's fine it's a woman's eight that's my size they're a little big that just means i have extra room so my feet don't die, you know? Cool. I'm not so weird. I'm what? <laughs> well, with Rachel. I thought I was gonna talk. You had to talk? Hi vlog. Um, this is the first day back, and I guess we're already adventuring. Ice cream. Candy cane, that's a little old. I'm not proud to be a vlogger yet. It's still going. <laughs> Hello you guys, it is the first day of class, so that's very exciting. Um, woke up, went to the gym this morning. I was super sore all night last night, like my legs were really sore and my lower back, I think, because I did legs at the gym yesterday. So I'm pretty sore, um, but I did back and biceps today and it was really nice. I think legs are like my favorite um, thing to work out and then back and biceps and then chest and triceps um, But yeah, anyways, I just finished eating breakfast and I had two packages. I actually have three I have an Amazon thing that I bought yesterday, but they delivered it to my front desk of my apartment and They're like always super slow at like distributing packages Otherwise, we have like, it's called an Amazon hub and it's just like lockers that people or the male people can put packages in and then you can get it yourself. So first up, I'm pretty sure this is um, another skincare I ran out of my night cream that I use. So I ordered this and it was supposed to be delivered today. Oh yes. Oh my gosh, this, pack this packaging is beautiful. I have to show you guys. So this is the box. I'm trying not to show my address. The box. And it's like a little present. Um, I've used the Chanel Hydra skincare line for years. I think I probably started when I was in high school. It's super hydrating. This is so cute. I feel like it usually doesn't come in a little thing like this, in a little bag. 
So yeah, I used the Hydra line. OMG. You guys, I'm really blown away. It usually does not come like this. Um, but yeah, this is the one that I use at night. The creme riche, riche, creme, creme, <laughs> riche. It's super, super hydrating. And then I just got two little sample size things. So this is like so cute. Oh my gosh. It usually just comes in like a black box, not a box, a black box, just like a normal brown box. So I'm very surprised. And then this other package is boring. It's a textbook. You guys, my um, the used bookstore was trying to sell this to me used for 150 bucks. Um, I said no thanks, and I bought it off of Abe Books, which is owned by Amazon, and it's just like people, booksellers can like sell whatever, whatever. So this is the book really fun um it's actually for my class today i'm taking it's my honors it's my last um honors requirement that i need to graduate besides writing my thesis which i also need to do that this semester but it's like a torts think like a lawyer type of thing so it's a little out of my comfort zone but i've always wanted to like learn about like my civil laws because that's what torts is it's like your civil rights whatever so i'm excited and i was nervous about this because we're supposed to read the first chapter before class today and i'm like i don't have the book and it came literally just in time so that's perfect i'm alex i'm a sophomore studying math hello you guys as you can see i'm currently um sitting in my car it is like 9 30 ish it's a freaking like snowstorm right now um the snow isn't coming down too heavy but i would say there's a good six-ish inches maybe that have come down so far um yeah and so you can see bear in the back so my plan for thursdays because i only have class at four and it's a snowboarding class so thursdays i turn into my rest days from the gym since i'm kind of like it's not really a rest day because i'm snowboarding but it's like you know i'm not going to the gym thursdays so my plan is to take bear to pet smart walk him around get him used to like being in public because he's like a very anxious boy um and then i would pick up a cookie for him as well and then i'm gonna go to starbucks because i usually get starbucks once a day or once a day once a week and i usually get it on thursdays or i like to get it on thursdays so it just like worked out um and of course the first day that this was going to happen there was a snowstorm and for a second i thought about not going or coming out and doing it but i really wanted starbucks um so i did and literally within a minute of driving i saw a car um on the side of the road it was she was literally like um it was right at the end of the exit or the entrance to the freeway and she was literally like on top of the snowbank like her front wheels were like in the air um so that was scary so it and it was like right around the corner so it was like a blind corner surprise you know so that was scary and then when i had come off of like the main freeway onto a little highway i saw another got car that had spun out so it's just like i'm really i'm a little nervous i'm driving really slow this is really good though testing my skills for snow driving um but yeah just being really careful so yeah that just wanted to like share that with someone <laughs> i guess so next i'm gonna go to starbucks and then i need to run into costco really quick because we need toilet paper and i want to get eggs um and i need to gas up so that is the plan i will be driving slowly being a defensive driver that's the plan oh i wanted to show you guys since i figured um i'm getting coffee the little cookie I got for Bear is a coffee cup. Isn't that so cute? Anyways, see ya. Here's my not so exciting Costco haul. I got eggs. You know, might as well. I'm starting to eat at least two eggs a day for breakfast. So figured I'd save maybe a little money, like a teeny little bit, and just get two dozen. I've never gotten this many eggs in my life just for myself. And then we're out of toilet paper. So I got some toilet paper. 
Bear's very happy to be home. He was a trooper in the car. I'm going to give him his cookie now. And it's going to be so fun. So once again, here it is. We're matching like mother, like son. <laughs> so let's open it. Bear's literally, oh, actually I'll give him some water first. Cause he's panting up a storm. Okay, he didn't even drink cause he knows. <laughs> He knows what's coming. Can you guys see him down here? The lighting is like bad. Look, Bear, come here. Do you want this cookie? Oh my goodness. Cause you are such a good boy today. You were so good on our drive. So you get a copy too. I really need to take a picture of this because it's so cute. Where's my phone? Okay, sit down. Okay, you were so good. Here you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so cute. He has like raging anxiety. So that's why I'm thinking of just like per, um, socializing a little bit, walking him, around, walking him around PetSmart, getting him used to the car. He's really good in the car, but he's like scared the whole time. And then like he'll growl at people in the drive-thrus. So then also like going through Starbucks drive-thru, just like getting him used to it. So that's the plan. Anyways, it is now 10.43. I'm gonna rest for a sec and then I need to do some homework. And then it's gonna be a pretty chill day until snowboarding. So. I'm in this cute little coffee shop called Backstory. Do you want to? <laughs> oh, that's me. I got a iced vanilla latte and a chocolate croissant. This looks so good. Yum. And now Grace and I are here. <laughs> We're here doing homework. Um, we went to the Minneapolis Art Institute. I did not bring my camera in because I forgot. Um, we took some pictures. Oh my gosh, my hair. We took some pictures. We look really cute. And now I'm gonna eat and do some work. I haven't vlogged in a hot sec, but it's okay. See you later.